Hansen in the first day of school mystery, chapter eight. Pam said, click, Danny called out and got up. Hey, I'm a camera, he said and blinked a his eyes a few times. Click, click, click. Janet turned to Danny. Don't make fun of Pam, she told him. What did you remember? The other children asked Pam. Please don't sit down. Oh, please sit down, Miss Benson told Danny. And if you want to say something to me or to the class, please raise your hand. And Pam raised her hand. Do you want to say something? Miss Benson asked Pam. Yes, Cam answered. When you talked about drinks, I remembered that Eric spilled his drink. Then I thought about cleaning his shirt, and I wanted to ask you if you brought something, some clothing to the cleaners this morning. That's a strange question. There's a cleaners near the school, Cam said. Miss Lane, our bus driver, goes to it. This morning, while she was driving, a cleaning ticket fell out of her pants pocket. I didn't go to the cleaners this morning. Well, Cam said, there is a pink piece of paper in the front seat of your car. I think it's a cleaning ticket. I saw it too, Eric called out. It's not mine, Miss Benson said. She thought for a moment. And you know what's on the cleaning ticket? She said as she went to her closet. A name. Miss Benson opened her closet. She took out a small telephone and pressed some buttons. Hello, Officer Oppen, she said. This is Margie Benson. Margie, Danny whispered. Our teacher's name is Margie. There may be a cleaning ticket in my car, said Mrs. Benson. But it's, it isn't mine. It might be a thief's. If it is, the thief's name will be on the ticket. Miss Benson listened. Then she thanked Officer Oppen and said goodbye. This is exciting, she said and smiled at Cam. Miss Benson returned to the telephone to her closet. Well, she said to the class, let's continue the lesson. Miss Benson went to the bulletin board on the side wall. Most of the, words, most of the world's rice grows in Asia, she said. She pointed to the world map. Who can find Asia? Who lost it, Danny asked. Miss Benson glared at Danny. Then she looked at the children who had raised their hands. She called on Eric and asked him to come to the map and find Asia. He did. Miss Benson continued the lesson. She told the children where coffee beans grow. Then she asked them to find those countries on the map. Pam was no longer listening. She thought about cleaning. She thought about the cleaning ticket and wondered if the police would find the thief. All right, what was the clue? that Cam thought would help solve the mystery. What's the clue? Yeah. Cam Jansen and the first day of school mystery, chapter nine. Just before the end of the school day, the doors to Miss Benson's classroom opened. Dr. Prell and the police officer with a short beard walked in. Dr. Prell told Miss Benson, Officer Oppen has good news. Officer Oppen smiled. We caught the car thief, he told Miss Benson, but something still, still puzzles me. How did you know there was a ticket in the car? She didn't, Danny shouted and jumped up. He pointed at Cam. She's the smart one. She has a quick, quick memory. That's right, Jennifer Jansen knew about the ticket, Miss Benson said and pointed to Cam. I'm lucky to have smart students. She told Officer Oppen about Cam's amazing memory. That cleaning ticket helped solve the mystery. Officer often told her, we looked at the name and the address on the ticket, and we knew who stole the car. Officer often told Miss Benson that the thief was at the police station. He told us he was walking home from the cleaners when he saw you park your car. He told us he was only borrowing it, that he was going to return it before school was out. Danny called out, I don't believe him. Officer often said Miss Benson's car would have to stay at the police station. Then it would have to be repaired. Dr. Prell told Miss Benson, I can drive you home. Well, Officer often said, that's about it. Officer often put his hands on his hips and tried to look, to look mean. Unless there are some other problems here, he said that. 
he looked right at Danny. Danny was still standing. Miss Benson asked Danny, do we have any problems here? No, he said quickly and sat down. The school bell rang. It was time to go home. While the children got ready to leave, Miss Benson thanked Can for her help. I'm glad you're in my class. Eric was standing next to Can. Miss Benson told Eric, I'm glad you're in my class too. Officer often thanked Can. The best defense against crime, he said, is alert critic oh is alert citizens. We have to go, Eric said, or we'll miss our bus. Cam and Eric hurried out of the room. Don't run, Mr. Day shouted to them from the other end of the hall. Cam and Eric stopped running. There you are, Mrs. Lane said when Cam and Eric got on the bus. I thought you'd never get here and we'd never get home. Never get home, Tommy in kindergarten said. How will I eat dinner? How will I get to sleep? I'm sorry, Tommy, Mrs. Lane said. I always complain. And we always get home in time for dinner, Eric told Tommy in kindergarten. Then Eric turned to Cam and said, and you always solve mysteries. Not always, Cam said. Well, lots of times, Eric told her, and I'm always happy to help. Mrs. Lane started to drive off. It was time to ride home after a very exciting first day of school. The end. <laughs>